name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Greetings and welcome to this Bible study in the epistle of Paul to the Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 which actually gives the title of this Bible study. I can do all things through Christ who, which strengtheneth me. Right from the beginning now. Therefore, my brethren, so here's Paul saying to those in the church, that is the body of Christ, in, the, in Philippi, calling them whether they were men or whether they were women, my brethren, dearly beloved, Oh, there was a, a real deep and strong work relationship there, working together in Christ, for Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Dearly beloved and longed for. So here's Paul, undoubtedly writing from when he was in prison. And uh, he longed to be with them because... They were his joy and crown because he would have led, led many, many of them to a saving re relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, having re called them to call them sinners, called them to repentance, called them to accept the Lord Jesus Christ, to wash away their, their sins. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus, no one else's blood. And they were to so stand fast. Where? In the Lord. There's nowhere else to stand fast. My dearly beloved again. He, 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 it was amazing, this wonderful, wonderful working relationship in the ministry between Paul. Yes, he would represent the clergy, ordained, but also those that represented the laity and were not ordained. And he's now singled out two women uh, in the church at Philippi. I beseech you, Odious, and beseech Syntyche, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. Was there a, di a disagreement between these two dear ladies? It appears so. So in other words, get your, your act together and be in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, whoever the yoke fellow might be, help those women which laboured with me. So they had laboured with him. They had been very faithful in the past. So whatever the difference between these two ladies had to be made right and kept right. Ah, here we are. So it's somebody called Clement who's the yoke fellow. And he was given the responsibility by Paul to see that these ladies made right between themselves whatever their differences were. And with other my fellow labourers, so they were all fellow labourers, no matter who they were. Whether they'd been saved a short time or a long time, they were all fellow labourers, whose names are where? In the book of life. Yes, in Revelation, oh, yeah. there the book of life. And the book of life is still open. Is your name in the book of life? Not... Uh, Calvinism here, but whether, yes, Arminianism, and re giving all the everyone the opportunity, the billions that are still unreached in Nepal and India, all these countries adding up to billions upon billions, and those in Africa too, where my heart is, that Names are still there in the book of life and have got to become in reality. 
the day of fully and gloriously and eternally saved, that they will be round the throne, the throne of God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost, worshipping, and worshipping the Lamb that sits on the throne. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High, Lord God of Sabaoth. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Are you rejoicing this day? Rejoicing not just in your salvation, but rejoicing in the Lord Jesus Christ that your life, your whole life, every bit of your life belongs to him and he belongs to you. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. His coming, coming could be any day. It could be today for all we know. And your moderation, yes, nothing in excess, because there are others in the world in need, in need of the Lord, but in need of the practical uh, needs of the day, food. Many, uh, I get so many requests over people who are uh, hungry, but I can't do anything because I'm already fully committed with what money I've got coming in. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Prayer, prayer, prayer. And the Holy Ghost, when he's in us and has us, he's interceding through us, even if it's in, in tongues. For Yes, I'm not ashamed that I speak in tongues and pray in tongues. There are those who are and think it's of the devil. Well, if they think it's of the devil, no doubt they'll finish up where the devil is. But it's with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. Your requests. And they will not be selfish requests. They will be those from the revelation of the Holy Ghost himself. And the peace of God. The peace of God in these days of turmoil, the world's turned upside down. There are those who are seeking to prevent the, the Christian faith growing and growing and growing with born-again Christians. Yes, I'm born again, but I'm also Anglo-Catholic and I'm not ashamed that I'm born again. I'm not ashamed that I'm an Anglo-Catholic. And the peace of God, which passeth what he passes all understanding. Have you got the peace of God in your heart and mind? Shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You're not going to get your hearts and minds at peace, at rest, and filled with the joy of the Lord rejoicing if you've not got him as your saviour. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, and there's only one truth, and that is the truth of the word of God in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, all these honesty, justice, Whatsoever things are pure, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Those are the words of our Lord. It's part of the Beatitudes. Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, there be, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think ye on these things. Yes. Are you thinking on the things of God, the pure things of God, the glorious things of God, the majestic things of God? Those things which ye have learned, and undoubtedly Paul must have spent quite a bit of time with these brethren in Philippi in the past, and longed to be with them again, and received and heard, and seen in me, 
what you've seen in me am my example of the Christian faith of the life in the Lord Jesus Christ then if I am do what I do and the God of peace shall be with you that is a promise are you taking up all the promises of God they're there there's a book full of them use them but I rejoiced in the Lord that's the only place to rejoice not in ourselves not in our achievements I rejoice greatly that now at the last yes he knew his time was coming to an end was Paul and he was ready to be with Christ is far greater that now at the last your care of me have flourished it's been well spent again wherein were also careful but lacked opportunity ye lacked opportunity oh take all the opportunities you get dear dear brethren it doesn't matter who you are where you are what god has called you to do take the opportunities you have not the opportunities you've not not got not that i speak in re in respect of want no he's not bothered about what he wants for i have learned in whatsoever state i am therewith to be content and there are many many who are not content in these days yes even those who are christians born again christians they're not always content they're wanting something and they're not always things that are spiritual there can be things of the material the things of this world i know both how to be abased he wasn't ashamed of being based no he, he was stoned he was he was flogged uh, and i know how to abound of course he knew how to abound because he abounded in christ everywhere and in all things i am instructed both to be full and to be hungry it didn't matter to paul what what condition he was in both to abound and to suffer need he knew what it was to suffer need he, he tells he told us what was it in the last chapter about he basically he had everything and done everything as a jew but he was quite prepared to be abased to be in christ i can do all things through christ which strengtheneth me yes the things that look impossible that that god is asking us to do they're not impossible when we see that we're in christ and it is his strength that is enabling us i've not the physical strength to do what god wants to do in the future but he will strengthen me he will take me to wherever i have to go and i'll be able to do whatever he wants me to go because it's christ that's strengthening me is he strengthening you notwithstanding ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction identifying with others and that's part of the first part of intercession now ye philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel when i departed from macedonia no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving but ye only it, they were stars at what they did they were they were the most outstanding of those providing the wants the needs of others for even in thessalonica ye sent once and again unto my necessity whatever is he needed the ones in philippi always knew by revelation and they sent to paul not because i desire a gift but i desire fruit and the fruit was in their actions is your fruit seen through action god is love god is a spirit this has been seen that may abound to your account yes it's going in the book god's there he has his workers there jotting it down what you what you're doing and you will be rewarded when you see the lord face to face but i 
have all and abound. Are you abounding this day? I am full, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, an odour of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable while pleasing to God. God is there, he's on the throne, yes, but he's watching and seeing uh, whether yours is a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well pleasing to him. And then this wonderful verse which can be taken so out of context. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Not your selfish wants, not that you want a bigger house, a better house, a better car, lots and lots of money, wonderful holidays. No, not at all. It's your need that he will supply. Salute every saint in Christ, that is, everyone who's been born again of God. The brethren which are with me greet you. So he wasn't on his own there in prison. All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are a Caesar's household. That's why we know that he was in prison at this time in Rome. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And that is the end of Philippians. Heavenly Father, we thank thee for thy word, which never ceases to amaze. It's there for our instruction, and there for thy glory. It is done through the Lord Jesus Christ, thy beloved Son, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, be with you now and always. Amen. Amen.